Hello and welcome to Arma3Editor.com Today I'm going to show you um, something that is really annoying I got a video sent to me from Angelo or Angelo Berti and he had some problems with um, a wipeout plane uh, that always started to move um, on mission when the mission began and he sent me this video uh, that I will show you right now So as you can see, uh, Angelo has um, a bit uh, of a problem over there. Uh, and I tried with some triggers and um, all that kind of stuff, but I didn't really understand why the plane started to move. Um, I even tried with d disable AI move, and but it just went. But I came up with something that I think will work for you, Angelo. Uh, first of all, let's create our player, drag him away from, and then create our plane, our uh, wipeout. We're gonna name him, name the plane, f plane. You can choose whatever name you want, and inside, we're gonna drag the fuel down. So he has no fuel. This means he can't move. He has no fuel. And then we're going to add a simple trigger and put in the activation field um, plane set fuel 0.5. So he has a uh, half a fuel. I think one is the um, f um, full tank. And I'm just going to go with a radio on the activation radio alpha. You can have whatever suits you on your mission um, but for this showcase I'm gonna go with Radio Alpha um, so yeah let's see what happens when we start the game and of course we need to put out some waypoints uh, and what I have noticed is that it's very important uh, that the plane is in the middle of this uh, runway but let's uh, put out some uh, waypoints like this and let's see what happens in the game <coughs> well as we can see the plane is uh, not moving when the mission begins and we will try to um, activate the trigger and see what happens so it starts to the engine starts And it go I will speed up. You can hear the speed it up. So hopefully you can use this tutorial and uh, make this uh, work uh, Angelo uh, and hopefully some some of you other guys will have some fun with this as well bye bye <laughs>